Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's England against the United States. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Phil Foden plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And part of the story here is the Al Bayt Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man. Wonderful chance! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kyle Walker plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Promising sequence. Kane. Could be. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Ferreira and return to Pulisic there to win it back now can they make something happen gives it a go still alive well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss and Pulisic has it Harry Kane. Chilwell. 
Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Pulisic. It's way up on the ball. Dest. Chance to cross. Can he put it in? Still a chance. And it's come off the keeper. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1 1. Christian Pulisic. Kane. On a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Sterling. Now with Mount. And moving the ball nicely. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was. Well, what can you say about this? It's hit so clearly with exactly the right amount of bend on it. And he does so well to get it back down in time once he goes over the wall. Excellent strike. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. And he stopped them in their tracks. Calvin Phillips. Now Harry Kane. Phil Foden. England looking dangerous. Kane. Harry Kane! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. So back underway at 3-1. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. The first half here comes to an end. Well, you have to give plenty of plaudits to Harry Kane for this performance up to this point, really giving the defenders headaches. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance, and he's not finished just yet. So, off and running again here, on the back of a dizzying first-half performance by England. Can they produce more of the same in this half? Kane gives it a go and a really good diving stop. <laughs> now, how about the short corner? Sterling crossing. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Difficult to stop him. Sterling, real chance. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here.
Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So, underway again, and England really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Pulisic. Brendan Aronson. A real opening now. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Declan Rice. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. To be replaced by number 23. Jude Bellingham, substitution for the hosts. Pulisic. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Oh, nice ball over the top. Way up. And still a chance. Oh, great block. Promising possession, this. Foden. Great opportunity. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Roldan. There's a slide rule pass. Real chance. Oh, another goal. You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Goal! Well, how about this? 4-3. Number 24. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Good strength to keep the ball. Promising move this from England. Alexander Arnold. And on to Bellingham. And he's won the ball. Timothy Weah, trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. And there goes the final whistle, very acceptable from an England point of view, a victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. So a positive night for Harry Kane sum up his performance for us well he looked a top class player today every time he touched the ball he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well what a good display that was